Series 5 ends on quite a sombre note with Mark's women. Obviously there's plenty of humour and great dialogue like you'd expect in an episode of Peep Show, but you also get the feeling that, to put it bluntly, shit just got real. Someone's having a baby, Mark and Sophie are annulling their marriage, Mark thinks he's missed his chance with Dobby, and Jared almost moves out the flat. Having all of those things be introduced or expanded upon in a single episode could quite easily be said to change the tone of the show to be perhaps more serious than we're used to, but for the most part I don't think that happens. Yes, there's an inherent seriousness around Sophie's pregnancy and who the father is, but it's still played in a way that's funny and doesn't feel like the episode is trying to be overly dramatic in an unfitting way. Though that isn't really where the main humour comes from anyway, with Jared's cult and Mark's nerdy side being the best parts of this episode. I love all the intentionally corny fantasy dialogue when they're all playing Fantasy War Quest, and how Gerard seems to be taking it ever so slightly more seriously than Mark and Dobby, who, by the way, have a relationship that seems completely genuine at this point. Ironically, it feels strange for Mark to be acting so normal. The LARPing scene is probably my favourite in this episode, as it takes Mark to be fully dressed as a knight, stood in the woods watching Gerard dressed as a viking, fighting James Barkman dressed as a werewolf before he finally realises what he's got himself into. It's hilarious, but also pretty indicative of a classic personality trait of Mark. In this episode he plays fantasy war quest, is said to play Dungeons and Dragons, and agrees to go LARPing, yet still has this moral superiority that he's somehow above everyone else and their nerdy behaviour. Like, come on, just shut off your brain for 5 minutes and enjoy yourself like you obviously want to, Vardor. Jared's side to the episode is really great too, not only because it lets us see a different side to him, but also because it lets us see a lot of super hands too, who manages to seem even more mental than normal despite not being on any drugs at all. I totally buy that Jared would join a cult, and as we saw in the interview, he's exactly the type of person that they prey on. I wish we could have got a scene actually at the new wellness centre after Jez and Hans had converted though, as the episode mostly focuses on talking about them being in a cult rather than actually being in one. That seems like a bit of a missed opportunity there, but maybe that's just me being overly critical of an otherwise really good episode.